Thanks again for stopping by and joining me on this problem, where whether it's your first time working with a line plot or you're just trying to get some more practice, you're in the right place. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this one. We have a list, okay, of all these different values, which represent the number of miles that Jess ran each day for 10 days. So we see we have 10 values. Some of them repeat, some of them don't, and that's how many miles that she ran on each particular day. Now, what we have to do here is make a line plot of the data that includes a title and correct labels. Now, a line plot is just a special kind of graph that shows the frequency, okay, or the number of times that something occurs. In this case, how many times she ran a certain number of miles. So the first thing that we need for a line plot is a horizontal line with an arrow point on each end. And remember that our data needs context. So we need a title, we can call this Miles Jessica Ran, and our unit of measurement is just miles. So now we are ready to use our data and we are going to start off by color coordinating so that we can see which values occur more than once. So seven and three quarters will label in blue, eight will label in pink, seven and a half in orange, and eight and one third in green. So now we have to be able to identify these values in order from smallest to largest, starting with the smallest, seven and one half, then seven and three quarters, then eight, and then the largest, eight and one third. Now we have to represent each of those four values on the line plot in order again from smallest to largest. Now, starting with seven and one half, we label that on our line, and we see that that value occurs three times. So we are going to include three X marks to show that that occurred three times. Our next value, seven and three fourths, also occurred three times. So again, we're going to put three X marks. Our next largest value, eight, occurred two times. And our largest, eight and one third, occurred two times as well. So we have just successfully constructed a line plot to represent this data for Jessica's miles of running over that 10 day period. And that's really all there is to it. So just keep this process in mind. In any future situations, we have to construct a line plot, same approach, same method, and you'll be good to go. So thank you again so much for stopping by everyone. And I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> cool. Thanks again for stopping by. Please click the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll catch you next time. You know it. See ya.